or swapping swapping comments. Anyway, whatever, we were communicating yesterday, and uh, we're going to work this thing out so he can come to the coffee shop show at some point, or maybe Eric and I'll just go over and have coffee in England. I don't know. One way or the other, we're going to work that out. Good morning, Brooke. Thank you for being here this morning as well. It is Wednesday. That means it's a wonderful Wednesday. Even though it's rainy and kind of, uh, I don't know, yucky outside here where I happen to be, still a great day. Upright, walking around, everything's good. So what are you going to do? So here's two things I want you to take away from our time together this morning. Number one, do you believe you can or do you believe you can't? That's actually a pretty good name for the show today. Do you believe you can or do you believe you can't? Either way, you're correct. So, in, and therefore, if it's my choice, I just believe I can. That's all. Just believe you can, and you can. Um, so that's number one. Number two, what are you going to do different today? I used to own this, I've been doing this podcast for a long time, almost 10 years. And I used to say quite frequently, Knowing is not enough. Success requires action. What action are you taking away from this today? What is something? A project, a task, um, a new endeavor, a new product. What is something that you have uh, had out there on the horizon? You've been, I don't know, reticent to begin because you were not sure whether it's going to work or not. If you are so bold, drop that down in the comments. Let us know what you're thinking about doing. We'll support you. We'll give you... Uh, the encouragement you need to get that thing started. And then I want you to start thinking about, okay, this is going to work, so now this is what's going to happen. Right? Create the self-fulfilling prophecy on the positive side rather than the negative side. I can have a negative self-fulfilling prophecy when it's, well, I don't think this is going to work, so it really doesn't. And you make decisions that lead it to fail. But I can I can use that same mental hack and go the other direction. Well, I know this is going to work, so then what's going to happen? And now all of a sudden you find yourself two or three steps ahead and you're pulling yourself through this thing that you were uh, reluctant to begin in the first place. So what are you going to start and what are you going to do next? This is going to work, so what's the next step in getting down that path? Those are your two pieces of homework. That said, success requires action. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Mr. Joe. Good to see you this morning. Joanna, I hadn't seen you in a while. Glad that you are here with us this morning. Joe says, mindset is the best way to improve a business. However, it's one of the most difficult to change without a desire to do so. I'd go a step further than that and say that it's more than desire. I might desire for my business to be a million-dollar business. But I don't desire it enough. I, it, I don't desire it enough to attack the perceived pain of making it a million dollar business. Does that make sense? <coughs> Excuse me. There's all there's only two things that motivate human action, pleasure and pain. Of those two, pain is the far greater motivator. Right? So if I believe, right, self-fulfilling prophecy, if I believe that it's going to be painful to take my business to a million dollar a year business, I will take the less painful route. That's, I mean, that's the way our brain stem is wired. That's the way it's going to work, right? So you have to believe not that getting to the million dollar point will be painful, but that when you get to the, word choice matters, when I get to the million dollar point, it will be pleasurable. And, and even... You know, draw pictures in your mind, take pictures, do a vision board, whatever you want to do. Pictures of what that pleasure, what that success looks like, right? And let those things draw you through and and overpower the perceived pain. Yep, yep, Joanna, thanks for popping the quote in there for me. And good, I love it when people travel. That's why I keep mentioning that Keith and his bride are traveling. I just think that's important to get out and see different things. Most, so Joe says, most increases in execution are caused by removing one-dimensional thinking. I'll go along with that. I think so. You get so focused on this, on the one element, right? 
so focused on the one element that I can't see anything else around me. Yes, that's a wooden pair. I leave it on my desk. It's my fidget spinner, okay? So you get so focused on that one thing that you can't see anything around you, right? But by taking a step back for a second, right, and then looking at what's beyond that one obstacle, Right? And making making the reward that's beyond the obstacle so huge that the obstacle begins to look small. Right? Now you're really on to something and you found a way to get past that roadblock. Yep, believe it and you will see it. Alright, that's it for today. Hey, remember, if you are watching live or on the replay, doesn't matter, drop a comment down there. It does two things. One, lets me know you're here. That's encouraging to me. But number two, sets you up so that hopefully today... Facebook will notify you and keep you plugged into the conversation that goes on in the comments after we leave here. I'll be spending a few minutes there, doing a few things, putting a video up on uh, YouTube and whatnot. Uh, hey, by the way, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you should do that. There'll be a link down in the in the description in the comments of this live. The link's already there, I think. Uh, click over there and subscribe to that channel. And uh, i got some stuff planned for that channel as we get into the winter months, and I'm going to be inside more. <laughs> uh, so I have some interesting stuff coming up there. I would appreciate that also. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll be back again. Oh, uh, Wednesday, so Coffee Shop Show coming up at 9 o'clock, about an hour and 45 minutes from now. Eric and I will be at... Old Town Coffee in beautiful Five Points, Huntsville, Alabama. If you happen to be here, stop by. Look, you got no excuse for not making it. Joanna came all the way from the Netherlands to be in the coffee shop. All right? So everybody can come and join us in the coffee shop. If you can't be there in person, be there on video. We'll talk to you in a couple of hours. And we'll be back here with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning tomorrow. Until then, have a great Wednesday. <laughs>